Oh, we're almost there. We just need to buy like 10 more, I think. Um, but thank you for being patient for that. Um, welcome to the 8th grade concert band. Very, very last performance together. They've been with us for three years. We're feeling very sentimental right now because they've worked so hard. And um, later on in the concert, I'll just go down through the list of all the things we've done this year. It's been a very productive year, a very fun year, lots of trips. Lots of successes and great stories. And behind me, we have a slideshow going on. It's basically just an assimilation of pictures from sixth, seventh, and eighth grade bands, field trips, concerts, um, some stuff from class, and just various things that we did. So it's not really in any particular order, I don't think. Maybe it is, but I think you're seeing some, some Harry Potter land back there, that, that eighth grade trip. So um, thank you for being here, and we're gonna get started here with a fire burst fanfare, our first team.
selection of the evening, uh, we're going to welcome to the podium Mr. King. Alright, this next selection is called Song of the Blacksmith, and it actually has a pretty interesting story. It's the third movement from a larger work called The Second Suite and Anthem by Gustav Holtz. Um, it's called Song of the Blacksmith, but that's kind of deceptive because it's actually a vocal piece that is sung by the scorned girlfriend of the blacksmith. Um, the blacksmith has been unfaithful to her, and this is her uh, sarcastic lament about how great he is. The initial sounds that you hear from the band are supposed to symbolize the uh, hammer hitting an anvil, and then about halfway through the piece you'll actually hear a hammer hitting an anvil. This is Song of the Blacksmith.
really close to the Andrew Johnson building. We were wanting to catch the crowd from people that work downtown and then hopefully seeing some people that work in the, the Ed building down there. So we had a big day and, and a lot of fun just performing at several different places that day. Then most recently, we went to Orlando, Florida and we performed in a competition there and we're happy to say that we placed first in our division. So here's our class. So I really enjoyed that. I just want to thank the kids and um, thank Mr. Spreco for letting me borrow them for a few months. So I really appreciate that. Okay, um, well, one last thing. I was going to tell you, we've been invited, our West Valley band has been invited to perform at the presidential inauguration next year due to our uh, first place win at the Heritage Festival. So I just wanted to congratulate them about that. Reason, but they don't necessarily know about that, but <laughs> except for just now, because although they are invited to do that, they'll all be in high school, so it applies to your incoming eighth graders. So the, the the group of people that invite us, they recognize that if your eighth grade is at a certain level, that they'll go ahead and trust that your next group of eighth graders will be at that level also. So, and a few years ago, we were invited to play at Carnegie Hall, and we just. We just really are proud of our group of um, students here in the bands. They work really hard, so I just want to say thank you to them. We're really going to miss them. Um, so thank you students for working so hard. Thank you parents also. Okay, now to a contrasting mood. Our next piece is entitled Apparitions. Before I forget, this features a flute solo by Kristen DeCordy. Thank you. 
you all briefly. This is uh, Miss Christian. She's the band director at Bearden High School. Hi. I have had the distinct pleasure of being able to come over here and work with these eighth graders this semester, and I have been very impressed with them. They are some of the nicest, intelligent, hardworking individuals in this building. And I hope that as you think back to when they were in sixth grade and they played that first note and that first concert, and then you get to hear what you heard this evening, that you are extremely impressed with them. They have done a fantastic job. For their success is because of the team of people that you have that get to work with your children every day. Mr. Spurgo, Ms. Sanders, and Mr. Key are the best middle school community directors in this county, and they have done a wonderful job. And as I think about getting these students in my band program next year, I'm very excited about that. Um, I, last week we had our band banquet, and at our band banquet we do a final goodbye to our senior students. And many of these students have come from West Valley, and these guys remember them as they started them in sixth grade. And I look at these kids and I think, I wonder what they're going to do when they get to high school. What are they going to leave their legacy as? So some of the seniors that are graduating right now that have been in band, I think you would be pleased to know that many of them are West Valley Middle School students and that 90% of those students, those senior students, received two or more scholarships from colleges and universities. And that all starts right here and it starts in sixth grade. And it's just one of those things that proves that band does make a difference in that. And I know that you want your children to be a part of that and I know that you want your children to be surrounded with students that are like that. And we're really excited about next year with our marching band and our concert band. Our marching band, we are going on a very big trip. We're going to be going up to New York and Philadelphia. We're marching in the oldest Thanksgiving Day Parade. We're going to be marching in the Philadelphia Thanksgiving Day Parade next year. We're really excited about it over Thanksgiving. Um, any information about this and any other things that you want to know about our program are on our website at beardandband.com. And I would love to meet you this evening. I'll be over next to the Blue Mats over there. Um, also, the marching band reservation forms. In order for your student to have a spot on that field, we need to have a reservation form for them. And we'll have extra copies for you to pick up. And if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them. Thank you for letting me work with your kids. They're really special. Thank you. All right, we, uh, we got one more song for you uh, tonight to close out our concert. I'd like to just briefly say how much I appreciate all the work that these guys have put in over the past three years. Uh, it's, you get really attached to these students when you, uh, when you see them every day for three years. So I'm going to miss these guys. We've had, we've had a great run. Hopefully uh, they'll come back and visit us in the future. Um, but it's all got to end someplace, and it's going to uh, end this concert with uh, uh, a fun thing. We wanted to end things on a, on a bright note. This is a, uh, uh, a uh, collection of songs by Lady Gaga. It's called the Lady Gaga Dance Mix. You know, it's probably not what you expected, okay? But it works, trust me, it's good. <laughs> 